What is up Goon Squad, welcome to the channel. So we just got the alignment done on the Hellcat, knocked that out, drives absolutely straight. But today we're mainly gonna focus on our 2018 ZL1. So first things first, we gotta take off all these wheels and tires, load them up, take them to the tire shop and swap them over to our new rims. And after that, we're gonna head to the dealership. We got a call just recently that more parts are in, so we're really excited about that. So let's go ahead and start jacking this thing up, take everything off and head out of here. Here at the tire shop. Good to go, boys. Four of our tires are good. That one that we thought was damaged or could have been damaged turned out to be perfectly good. So we are loading up. They all balanced out perfectly. Man, it feels good to have a fresh set of wheels and tires. We gotta go take our scraps, man. Them scraps yep. is gonna be a decoration piece, possibly. We got V tuned in the building. It's pulled up. Alrighty, guys, that's a wrap. We're all loaded up. So now where are we headed to the dealership? Yeah, we're gonna head to the dealership. We may stop by and get some food before we head there, you know, like always. Yes, gotta sir. Eat. Gotta eat, man, gotta eat good. But we are here at the dealership. Gonna pick up a few parts. He said, uh, we got eight more that are still supposed to come in, but we got a good bit of them, even the subframe, cradle, and all that good stuff. Ooh, I see some new Camaros. These are 2018 models, look at these. Nice, nice, but the ZL1 looks way better on the front. Also, the one LE even tops it off completely. This is all for you. Oh my goodness, man. I didn't, I thought this was like other people's parts. <laughs> is a bumper here? Uh, yeah, I think Oh, dude, that's gonna be awesome. Dude, that's crazy. I thought, I was like, that's somebody else. We didn't bring the rear core, but we're gonna have to drop that off. Yeah. And we can even. You know, you can come back later with the cores, uh, and we'll just credit you all that stuff back, and we all get the job. Yes, sir. Cradle. That's the rear yeah. free bar there. Yes, sir. Got a little piece for the quarter panel here. We got some work to do. guys we got a bunch of parts in here so we're gonna probably head to the house and uh, just go over pretty much everything that we got so we'll Start working on yeah. that car we'll catch you guys there all right so we are back let's see what we got here dude we got a ton of stuff we got the bumpers Ooh, a lot of stuff what is this this uh, I think is a lower part of the rear bumper you know that little whatever you call it diffuser piece oh okay i wonder if it's that high gloss black or do we have to paint out i don't know we're gonna have to check that out i'm really interested guys look at all of these parts that we got here we finally got our front front and rear bumper actually but i was more excited about that front bumper the one le style 
Also a very important piece right here is the subframe, which is gonna allow us to pretty much get the car rolling around and even be able to drive it. But look at that thing, look how intricate it looks. It's yeah. crazy, it slides away. It's all aluminum. That's gonna allow us to finish up our uh, our suspension that we didn't finish up, you exactly, know? Exactly, yeah. You got the crash bar there. Uh, should we start opening this stuff up and kind of show them what it is? We can, I would like to open up the little things first because we already know, you know, that's a front and that's a rear bumper. I want to hold that off until we're ready, until we're ready to actually open it up. So we're going to check out all these little boxes. There's yeah. a bunch of them. Go ahead and start with this one, I guess. I already got it in my hands. What could it be? It's something GM. Oh, dang. That GM blue, man. Ain't no joke. It's like Christmas, man. As Steve would say, it's like Christmas. Just rip the packages open. Ooh, this is the little baffle, I guess, for the secondary radiator or something like that. Temporary. All right, there's another little box here. Is that the canard? No, no, is that what you'd call it? That or is that the, that's probably the side piece for the front splitter. Careful with that one. We it's like it got a silk yep, lining. It, yep, this is what goes on the side of the splitter. But let's see what this is. Um, little shroud for the intercooler. Yep. Probably another plastic piece, something for the radiator. You're ripping all these boxes up. That big old box for this little piece right here. Uh, this is something valuable because you can tell by the little security tape there. So we're just gonna hold off on that. Go to this little box here. Nothing special, Ooh. probably. What is that? Some sort of bracket. Is it for the radiator? What? 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 What Made in China. Okay. And there is our quarter panel section piece oh, yeah. right there, the lower section of it. Oh, so yeah. we're really excited about that. We got our quarter panel and suspension. The only reason that we're excited about this suspension is once the suspension is on, the car can go to the frame machine. Dude, and we're gonna be piecing this sucker together before your very eyes. <laughs> so be sure to turn on your post notifications, man. Yeah. This build is just gonna be very interesting. This is the rear section of the bumper, I guess the lower oh, section. Oh yeah. All right, so we're not gonna open any of the bumpers or any of the bigger boxes because we know what's in there. We're just gonna save that until it's time to put them on or to paint them. Let's go ahead and crack this open right here. See what's inside, man. I don't even know. Oh, it's for the front bumper. I'm yeah, guessing. for the one LE front bumper. Dude, it's gonna be so sick. And the air duct connects to this right here. Is that one canard? <laughs> it is. Yeah, it? that's it. That's one for the front bumper. So that's pretty much it for all the unboxing that we're gonna do for today, I guess. Yeah, what is sure. this? What is that? Oh, yeah, we don't know what these parts are. That's dude. what I'm saying. I, I'm, I'm waiting on that grill. I really want to see what that grill looks like. Careful there, buddy. That's an expensive bumper. The foam, bro. Tearing these boxes up, man. Dude, that looks so mean, dude. That's a big grill. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna unpackage it. Yeah, there's no reason to, bud. We gotta keep these protected safe. Yep. That way, for sure. To pop them in, they'll be ready. This is actually a grill, also. There's yeah, this, this is the upper one, the actual with the Chevy emblem. Yeah, dude, that is. That's oh, crazy. and it's and it's a uh, hollow, pretty much, just to get like more point airflow. Two point percent. three point three percent more airflow. All right, so that's it for the unboxing that we're gonna do for now. Now it's time to get this subframe and replace it with the one that is damaged. I've never dropped a subframe on a car before, yet alone a 2018. This is going to be something new for us, and we're going to take you guys right along. So let's get right into it and start removing the old one.
guys, so now that we got the left and right suspension components off, it is time to go ahead and remove this skid plate. So we're gonna go under there and then we're gonna drop it down and then we're gonna keep on moving. All right, so we finally got the skid plate out. It was pretty easy, all on 15 bolts. So we got that drop down. Now we're gonna go ahead and go up under here and look at how the steering rack bolts up to the subframe because we might have to either hold it up there, somehow hoist it up there or drop the whole thing. So we're gonna have to go back under there, check everything out, and then we're gonna start actually unbolting the subframe, lowering it down. All right, so we just removed the steering rack there. Now it is time to get at these motor mounts. There's two bolts that are gonna be very hard to get to. That's the motor mount there. Yeah, there's one bolt right here and one bolt right here. We're gonna have to get them from this side. They're kind of difficult, but we should be able to get them to. But before we unscrew that, we gotta put something under here to support this motor and transmission. We might do a jack stand with a block of wood or just a jack, simple jack under here to keep this thing from moving while we're dropping the subframe. So we're gonna go ahead and grab something real quick and start unscrewing this. We got the last engine mount bolts. There's only two of them. So we, got, we went ahead and unbolted both of them. I just gotta go pull them out and I think then we can unbolt this actual subframe drop it down, got the jack under there. We're ready to just pretty much exchange it. It's really fun taking this Dude, thing apart. I don't know if anybody's ever had a 2018 apart like this, honestly. Yeah, really. Subframe coming off and everything. Yeah, we're probably the first. There you have it, boys. A subframe for you. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you subframe the damaged subframe that is because look at that you Put just cannot one. weld that it wouldn't be up to standards and now all we have to do is just swap this stuff over yep. all the little metal brackets and stuff and just go all back these, in yeah all these little clips and stuff that we need we're gonna go ahead and swap it all over not much not much to do here so after that we're gonna put it back in hopefully it is as easy Putting it back in as it was dropping it. I mean, it's just six bolts holding the entire subframe, so fairly simple. Just six bolts and then a bunch of stuff in the way. Yeah. But <laughs> the like steering the rack. main bolts is just yeah. six so. Of course, it wasn't that big of a deal. So let's go ahead and cut, cut these zip ties and start transferring everything. Almost forgot the little bolt that goes right here under the frame rail. So we're not gonna fully tighten the subframe just yet. Got the bolt here. I'm gonna go ahead and loosen these bolts back up. But we went ahead and pretty much just hand tightened the motor mounts on both sides. And we got all the bolts hand tightened, but now we're gonna drop it a little bit back down, loosen the bolts up, put these under the frame rail, and we'll be done with that. So the subframe is in, all tight, all finished. That's done. The steering rack, we just put that up in there too, tightened it up. But before we move on, as you can see, our tie rod has been on this side. We bought a rebuild kit from the dealer. So we're gonna go ahead and change this thing while we can and easy to get to, and then we'll keep on moving.
All right, guys, so that's it for the rebuild kit. That tie rod in is all in, secured, really nice, really simple. Honestly, I thought it would be harder than it was, but it was really simple. But as you can see, the old tie rod, I thought it just bent right here, but it actually bent right where the ball joint is right here. Like, pretty bad. That's insane. Pretty crazy. Luckily, we got this one in, no problems. So now we're going to install the sway bar and uh, just go from there. Guys, so we worked into the night. It is really late and I'm kind of tired. So I'm gonna pass out right here under this cozy Camaro. And I'll catch you guys in the morning. All right, so it is the next day here. What the heck? This boy is still sleeping. Hey, huh? oh yeah, let's, let's go ahead and put the suspension on. Um, Bro, you good? Yeah, uh, let's get, let's let's get, get to it work. Done. Let's, get, let's get this done, I'm ready. Let's put the suspension on, let's drop it on all four wheels. Let's go. There goes the old hub right there. I'm gonna go grab the new one and uh, that should be a really easy replacement. I mean, just three bolts. This one had two, as you see, one is cracked right here. That's why we ordered some bolts. Hopefully we have them here. After we put this hub on, we're gonna go ahead and throw all the suspension components on. And then as you see on this side, the sway bar link is broken, but I'm gonna wait till we put everything on because you know, this is all flimsy. It's gonna be harder to unscrew. So let's go grab that new hub. Man, we already got this whole suspension back on. We got all the wiring sorted out. That's pretty much the only thing that we got left, right? That and then just clip a couple wires in here. But it's pretty dang simple from here on out. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. Put the skid plate on from the bottom. Then we could probably put the wheels and tires on it. Drop this sucker down. Get it ready for the frame, guys. Pretty much. All right, so now that we got the driver's side suspension complete, let's go ahead and knock out this passenger side. Alrighty guys, there you have it. The suspension is complete. Now moving back onto this driver's side here. We're probably gonna go ahead and bleed these brakes. That way we don't have to worry about it because we're about to throw the wheels on. All right, holding. All right, so now that we got done bleeding the brakes, it is now time to reinstall that skid plate back under the car. Wow, that sucker right there is light. Oy. All right, so the skid plate is finally in. Everything is back in, back together. Now it is time to go get them wheels. Slap them on there, drop the car down, and just pretty much roll it around from here on out. All right, so here we have all four wheels, and these are staggered, so I guess you kind of got to see just by the tire size. Yeah. The fronts are 285s, right? I can see by just visual. You can see yeah, the width narrow, of it. Like that is really wide. Oh yeah, for sure. 305, 285 in the front, but we're gonna go ahead and throw them all on. Drop the car back down for the first time in a long time. Dang, that looks good, man. Alrighty guys, so that is a wrap for today's video. Be sure to stay tuned, turn on your post notifications because this build is just getting more and more exciting. If you don't follow us on Instagram, be sure to do that now and you get an inside scoop there before YouTube. If you want to copy some merch and support your boys, check out GoonSquad.com. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and we'll catch you next time. Peace.